Hey guys, let's go over the Smart Art Box for October. The first item I have is the pamphlet for this month's box. This pamphlet has information on the products inside. Paint pouring. There's also tips on how to use the supplies, different projects to try, as well as this month's prompts. Geometric, tree, rain, and mythical. I have a groovy smart art sticker. Next, I have four five by seven canvas panels by Art Alternatives. These panels are asset free and are suitable for all acrylics, oils, and other wet or dry media. And here's my snack for the month, gummy beers. Here we have a five piece Filbert brush set. A Filbert is one of my favorite brushes and I'm glad that I actually have a new set. I use them with my acrylic paintings. This is a bonus item, four disposable plastic cups. This is a four artist oil based marker and this can be used on canvas, wood and paper. A tube of PBO acrylic paint in Mars Black. A five piece plastic painting knife set. Last but not least, we have the PBO pouring discovery kit that comes with four acrylic paints, a bottle of silicone and a canvas board. Okay, you guys, this was a lot of stuff, but let's start experimenting. So I'm somewhat familiar with paint pouring. I tried it a couple years ago, but I never stuck with it. And what I like about paint pouring are the cells that are created in the paint. I think that's such a beautiful texture. And at the time, I thought I needed a torch to do that. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find a torch, so I just lost interest. But it's cool to know that I don't need a torch and I can create the cells with just the silicone. So even though I have a bit of paint pouring experience, I don't know any techniques or things like that. So for the first painting I did, I used a straight pour, which is quite easy. You just put the paint in the cup and pour it over the canvas. I was interested in other techniques, so I found a video by another YouTuber named Olga Sobi, and I'll link her channel below. But she's a pro at this paint pouring, and I was inspired to try some of her techniques. I didn't execute them perfectly, but it was still fun trying different methods and getting different results. One of the tips in the smart art pamphlets suggests using alcohol inks. I actually have some left over from my scrawler box, so I used that for my last painting. And I can't say I was too impressed with the results, but I did use the pink alcohol ink and it made my last painting stand out more. I'm going to do the enchantment prompt for the first painting I did. I'm going to work with the textures and carve out what I'm already seeing. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the paint caused the canvases to warp. I think the preferred surface for paint pouring is actually wooden panel. I could be wrong, but when I go to the art supply store, I always see the paint pouring supplies and wooden panels together, but I guess it comes down to personal preference. Anyway, before I started drawing on this canvas, I took a paper towel and wiped off the excess silicone, which is a bit greasy. But yeah, I was going to use the PBO Black Mars acrylic paint to draw my illustration, and I noticed right away that it wasn't going to work. Even though I wiped off the excess silicone, I'm thinking there was a bit of residue left over, and that's why the acrylic paint wasn't sticking to the canvas. So I pulled out the Four Artists oil-based marker, which worked better. And I also tried using the acrylic paints that came in the paint pouring set to add more detail to the painting, but that didn't work either. I think perhaps the silicone has something to do with it, like it forms some type of barrier, because actually when you use acrylic, you can paint on top of acrylic, but in this case, it wasn't working. Overall, I thought this was a great box, and to be honest, I'm actually getting tired of receiving pens and water-based brush markers, so it was a real treat to get something different 
especially something I haven't seen in some other art boxes. But what did you guys think of this month's box and have you ever tried paint pouring before? Let me know in the comments! Thanks for stopping by, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!